Good morning everyone, welcome back to a new YouTube video. Today is Tuesday, it's 11 o'clock and I've just got ready, which is why I'm sat on the floor because I am one of those people that does their makeup and hair sat on the floor. But I'm heading out in a sec because I've got a shoot. Me and my mum are going out to shoot. I think we've got four or five looks to do. Um, just for Instagram content, nothing crazy. Um, I've got a couple of th a couple of things that have been gifted, and then I've got some things that are just out my wardrobe that I really want to shoot. Really excited because I'm kind of trying a new thing with my content. We're doing iPhone camera, like mixing up a little bit. So I'm quite looking forward to that. It's also a really nice day today, which is good. But I thought I'd vlog this week because I've got a really, really nice week. I've got loads of bits on. The weather's meant to be getting better. So I thought, let's come back with like a big video, a big vlog. So yeah, I hope you enjoy it. I won't keep this too rambly because I know intros are so boring. But lots of things happening. I've got lunches. I've got, I'm getting my hair done, which is really exciting. I'll talk more about that on Thursday. And then me and Jack are going to London this weekend because I'm working with an apartment company, which I love. I've actually stayed with them before, which was like fully paid and everything. And they are now um, gifting us an apartment room for the weekend, which is lovely. I'm doing some content with them, not on YouTube or anything. So it's not sponsored or anything. Um, so yeah, I'm going to take you along to everything. You can see what I'm getting up to this week. And yeah, let's get on. Let's get on with the day. since I've spoken to you um you would have just seen I had a call with my manager earlier which was really good but I I'm basically working on this project with a brand that I love and I've loved for years now um and oh, I got the dates wrong so I didn't realize that the preview is meant to be in tomorrow um and I've basically given myself quite a complicated brief can you even see me I've given myself a bit of a complicated brief because I came up with like this really nice concept and I um yeah it's, I basically just given myself loads of work but I know the video is going to be so good so yeah I'm just working on that now it's 20 past 6 usually I stop working at like 5 but I'm going to work tonight and get this done because I've got such a busy day tomorrow so I'm not going to have any time to film anything and yeah I just pushed the live date luckily the client was um absolutely fine with it it's only an extra day so I just need a couple of extra hours in the morning because I'm using my mum and I'm also trying to get some clips from all of our home videos I don't know if anyone else's dad and mum filmed them when they were young on like a camcorder but my dad literally filmed everything so we've got like all these different these are all from christmases birthdays holidays like all these different dvds so i'm trying annoyingly apple do not have normal like dvd slots anymore so i've got this external um dvd player and i'm just gonna try and see if these will log in so i can screen record them for the video because i really the concept of the video is just so cute and i'm like really proud of it um so yeah hopefully it works and if it does i will i don't know if the video will be live yet because i'm creating it for a brand it's not for my channel um but if it is i'll link it down below and if it isn't then keep an eye on my instagram because I'm sure I will share it, but yeah, that's why I've got full face makeup on. I'm wearing a shirt and I'm also wearing joggers and slippers because when you're filming the top half of your face, you don't need to worry about what you've got on underneath. So anyway, fingers crossed this works. They're like really small discs and I'm playing it in a big... Oh, yay, it's worked! Oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my god, I'm so happy. I'm going to show you some little clips of me when I was young. Now I'm going to spend all night doing this. <laughs> oh my god, this is me and my brother on the trampoline. 
<laughs> Hello, dressed as Snow White. I don't know how old I was here. Maybe like five. Sorry, it's not focusing very well. So cute. Look at us. Oh. Today is Friday and I went to the hair salon yesterday. I didn't vlog anything in there because I'd never been there before. So I wasn't sure if it was gonna be like the right vibe to vlog. And I feel like I'm only just kind of getting used to vlogging in public. So I felt a bit awkward, but um, let me show you my hair now. So I've had my lighter extensions put in, which are a little bit longer. Um, and a bit more natural I think, they're a little bit kind of finer, not so thick and chunky at the ends, a little bit more tapered and then I had a little bit of face framing around the front just to kind of lighten that up a little bit so it's not so dark and I love it, I'm really happy with it so I just, um, I left the salon yesterday and quite late actually and I had it just completely straight so that I could see all the colour and everything and make sure that I really liked how the extensions were placed and then this morning I've just put a little bit of dry shampoo in and then just used my longer wide barrel of my Dyson just to add a little bit of texture but nothing crazy because we are going to London tonight well later this afternoon and we've got dinner later so I'm gonna like do my hair properly tonight when we get to the hotel so yeah, I thought I would carry on vlogging now. Sorry I didn't show the salon and everything. I feel like next time I go back, I will feel much more comfortable showing you, but it's so nice. I will leave it linked down below if you're local to me or around Tunbridge Wells area. Really recommend going. The girls there are so nice. The salon is just so beautiful. I feel like sometimes you go to a salon and the lighting isn't great and it's a bit kind of dark and it was so bright and white in there that the lighting's great, so I literally was sat there from one o'clock until like half six and I, I didn't even notice how long I was sat there for because I was just chatting to all the girls there and was on my laptop, just felt so at home. So yeah, I will link it down below. I'll also link Chloe who did my extensions and Lucy who did my colour and cut. They were so, so good, so I really recommend going if you are local to me. But yeah, today is, what's the time? It's half ten. I've kind of just been like faffing around this morning. I had a bath, I've just been like getting ready. I need to do my nails because they look horrible. Um, and yeah, just prep for going to London tonight. I need to pack and plan all my outfits, so I thought we could do that together. And I'll show you like how I plan looks for the weekend and things like that. And yeah, then we're off to London. The weather's so nice, so I think it's going to be quite a nice summery break. Um, oh, and also this dress I'm wearing is from H&M. It's actually quite old, so I'm not sure if it's in stock anymore. I will try and have a look. But the back is really nice. It's got um, like a crisscross. Kind of reminds me of a Sir the Label dress, and it's really long and floaty. Okay, I'm just planning my looks for the weekend. And tonight we're going to a restaurant called I think it's like set or sete. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. If you know, let me know in the comments. Um, but it's like an Italian and it looks quite dressy. I've, I've had a look on the tagged photos to see what other girls are wearing. And a lot of girls wearing like really nice dresses and it looks 
quite dressy so I wanted to wear a dress make the most of the opportunity and I found this one in my wardrobe which I've literally had for two years two and a half years now um I took it to Ibiza and I only wore it once for dinner and I don't even think I even got any pictures in it or anything but it's from a boutique called the Silk Lemon and I just love it it's kind of like ruched all along the body and then it has a little frill at the bottom um, and then this arm let me hold this in the other hand is like completely puffed there and then tight and then has this gorgeous like elongated sleeve I love it I think it's really pretty and also I feel like this is quite a good option for dinner because you've got like one arm out but it doesn't feel too revealing or like too uncomfortable or too kind of like clubby it still feels quite elegant and then I'm just wearing my Dior heels and then I'll probably just use my Chloe bag but take the strap off so that it's like a little kind of clutch but yeah I think this is cute I like it okay this is just how I plan my looks I think I've actually showed you this before but I basically just get like pieces out that I have new in there's a couple of new in bits there and then pieces out that I would like to wear or new things that I want to take and then I put my shoes at the bottom there um so this bag I'm actually loaning um I'm working with the Cocoon Club which is such an amazing company I absolutely love them they've loaned this bag to me um for a couple of weeks to borrow and I just love it it's so beautiful they basically have like a hiring company so you can basically pay a subscription and then you can hire bags on loan which is such a great way if you are really into bags and you want to kind of wear different ones all the time or you want to buy a new bag but you want to test it out and see if it goes with your stuff see if you like using it i think it's such a great idea and actually since um having this for a couple of days i've already realized having like a shoulder bag like that is so useful i love it so i don't know why i'm doing a thumbs up so i've kind of styled the outfit around the bag a little bit because i knew i wanted to wear that bag on saturday so um we're going to beach blanket babylon for like a late lunch early dinner and then we'll probably just stay out have some drinks it's meant to be really nice weather so this dress is just like a really simple slip dress from zara i got it quite a while ago actually like last summer and i've worn it quite a bit it's so comfortable really flattering and then i've just popped on my because of alice blazer on top which the silhouette of this blazer is so so flattering i love it it's like a little bit tight at the waist, but it's still got that nice shoulder pad element to it. Um, and then I'm just borrowing my mum's shoes from June, which are gorgeous, very Hermes vibe. And I absolutely love this like linen style fabric. Really, really love these. So yeah, that's my outfit for Saturday. Then I've got my Friday night outfit. And then I just need something to wear for Saturday morning because I think we're going to go out and go shopping and stuff like that on Saturday morning and have like a late breakfast and then go back to the room and get ready for like afternoon evening because we way prefer doing things in the day in the summer rather than like going out late at night would rather just chill so yeah I've got a couple of dresses here this one is from Lyol which is another gorgeous brand um it is a bit creased it doesn't need an iron but it's just this really pretty like silk dress buttoned down the whole way and then I've got this dress, which is just a black um, linen like slip dress from H&M. This is actually new. I showed you this in my recent haul. And it's got like a crisscross back, so really pretty for summer. And then also this one, which is new, the ribbed white, kind of like polo neck style, just shift dress. But I'm not 100% sure on this. I feel like I still need to style it up a little bit. So yeah, I've got a few options. Um, and then I will prob probably bring like some shorts and maybe like a white shirt as well just in case i change my mind and i need some comfy shoes like trainers or something but yeah that's literally how i plan my outfits and it just means i'm not bringing loads of stuff like excess things and it's just nice and organized and i don't have to worry when i'm there so outfits organized i'm gonna go and do my nails now and then i'm gonna do some work in the garden because it is such a nice day
guys, I bought these hydrangeas last summer when we were in the lockdown and they were tiny, like tiny little plants. And I just wanted to come and show you. Oh, that's the neighbor. Um, they are massive. Look how big these are. I bought three bushes. Um, they, I think they were like 89 pounds for three of them, which is kind of expensive, but they do look amazing. I'm so happy how they've started to come out. That one at the end there is the best. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna keep an eye on these and see how they come along. They're so pretty. I've just spent the last few hours working. I had some admin to do and all of that kind of stuff. What is this exposure doing? Um, I just had to send off some invoices and reply to some emails before the weekend. And I'm now gonna relax in the sun for a little bit because 20 to 3 and Jack's hoping to finish work at like 4ish bit of an early finish so we can head up to London before like rush hour and stuff and get into the apartment a bit early so I'm going to just spend the next hour sat here I bought this Vogue ages ago the August one with Margot Robbie and I haven't even looked at it so I'm going to enjoy that and have a little afternoon off which I'm really looking forward to but it is really really hot but I'm not complaining so I'm going to sit here and yeah enjoy the god my hair is so flat i think it's because yesterday i did an olaplex treatment at the salon and my hair is just so silky so it's just unbelievably flat but anyway time to enjoy my afternoon hello everyone we are now in our room in london we're staying with Sunday stays and this is a gifted stay so um we've got tonight and tomorrow um and i'm just doing some content for them and also posting on my instagram but this video is not sponsored or anything so this is our little room we have just got like a single bedroom and then a bathroom so it's nice and small this is the bathroom really nice actually it's just like big shower marble bathroom although there's a sink without a mirror which i think is a bit like who does that so i'm gonna bring this mirror into the bathroom because how are you meant to get ready without a mirror but yeah this is the room it's got a nice tv it's a smart tv as well so there's netflix and stuff a lot i really like the interiors that's why i chose this room because yeah nice little mirror here so now we need to get ready for dinner because we haven't got that long so i'll see you when i'm ready hello everyone i'm now ready um we're just waiting for an uber outside the apartment building it's actually so pretty i'll show you um the street it's so so nice really pretty prince of wales terrace is what it's called this is what the buildings are like still pretty so nice to shoot and then i'm wearing the dress that i showed you earlier and my dior heels chloe bag just like i told you i'm so hungry are you excited for dinner yep let's see what you're wearing white shirt gray jeans tan shoes and an added accessory but we have had the best dinner ever honestly the pasta is unbelievable i really recommend coming here we have already been like we want to come back we want to take all our friends our family and i'm just in the bathrooms and honestly they are beautiful look how gorgeous they are unreal I'm so annoyed i left my phone upstairs because this lighting is so nice but we've had such a nice time. We're just having some drinks now. And yeah, it's gorgeous. It's in the Bulgari Hotel. So I think this is actually the hotel because I've just come down the lift and there's like private rooms and it's just, it's gorgeous. It's so gorgeous. Good morning, everyone. Can you even see me? I'm just in the bathroom. There's not many places to put the camera. Um, but it 
is nearly 10 o'clock. We're up, we're ready, and we are heading to kind of Kings Road, Kensington area. Today it should be lovely. Well, we are actually in Kensington, but we're going to like South Kensington. So I've just done my makeup and hair. This is the first time I've done my hair, like washed it and stuff since I've had it done. And I'm really happy with it. It is a lot lighter, but I really like it. So yeah, I had a lovely shower this morning. The shower in this bathroom is really nice. Sometimes in London I find the showers aren't that good. Like, not great pressure, but this one was fab. This is my outfit this morning. I'm wearing the black linen dress from my H&M haul. The one with the cutout backs, and it's just like a simple black linen straight dress with a little side slit and then I've got my Gucci loafers and I'm going to be using the Gucci bag that I'm loaning from the Cocoon Club. So yeah, earrings. I've got um, Astrid and Miu, Astrid and Miu and then these ones are from French Connection, these pearl ones. So pretty. And then I've just got my normal rings, my Dauphin. I absolutely love this. Like, my mum bought me this for Christmas. Is it going to focus? so pretty my vintage gucci watch which is my mum's and then i've also got my chappy ring and my deal ring and yeah ready to go okay we're just at breakfast we walked from the apartment to um like sloan square and it was like 35 minutes and jack was not having <laughs> Um, it's also about 40 degrees, it's literally so hot, but it's so nice, I literally feel like we're on holiday and we're at the restaurant Bardo, it's just next to the Saatchi Gallery and this is how it looks, it's so nice, it's got like a rooftop bit there and then like outside seating, and yeah, lovely. We have just ordered some food, I've got the avocado poached eggs, Jack for full English and I'm so dehydrated, we literally haven't drunk anything today and it's like 11 o'clock already, but yeah, lovely day. We shall see. I feel a bit drunk, to be honest. But we shall see. I'll keep you updated. Oh. We've just come to uh, this restaurant called Beach Blanket Babylon. And uh, we're about to get the bill because Lawrence had too much to drink, so. Not true. <laughs> so we've got to go home and get Lawrence a bit. But anyway, I'll take you with me on our night out. It'll be great fun. We're in the park. We're in the park. We're in the park. 
<laughs> Got loads of drink. This is so nice. Oh god, I look broken. My legs look broken. We're in the park. We're in um. We're in Kensington Gardens. It is lovely. It's such a nice evening. We've got a bottle of wine. We've already eaten our crisps, so we've ran out of snacks. But this is honestly so nice. I, if any of you are staying in London for the weekend, 100% recommend coming here. Jack's already been like, I want to come back here every single time we come to London. It's so nice. <laughs> we didn't want to get too close to the docks. Or, hey, the door. Jeffrey, when you don't want to drink on your own, because if you don't want to drink on your own, it's going to be in the piece. But it wasn't like this in the house. Here we have a wild mm. Lauren. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Red Grace. 